Listen, even as a youth, God wants you to encounter Him. God wants you to have constant supernatural revelation of who He is, what He has given to you, and what He wants to do for you. There got to be a great awakening tonight. Then there was a young man called Sam Solomon. Solomon was 18 years old when he became a king. He was just one of the kids, 18 years old. 18 years old, he went to Gibeon. And there, even as a youth, he learned to sacrifice his best to God. So over here, it says in the verse, uh, 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse 4, he offered a thousand burnt offering. The night when he slept, God said to him, young Solomon, 18 years old, he's just about to go to the army. Ask, what do you want? In his sleep, he said, God, this is what I want. I want to have discernment and an understanding heart. And right there, God was so pleased that he didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for a long life. And the next morning, he had a great awakening. When he woke up, God said to him, I will make you the wisest man ever live in the history of the world. Right there, he had an awakening to the wisdom of God. Let me tell you, you may be 18 years old and you can be the wisest person in your neighborhood. You can be 18 years old and you can be the wisest person in your campus. You can be 18 years old and you can be the wisest person in your community. Wisdom is a supernatural gift, but it has to be built on the foundation of knowledge. So Solomon was 18. God said, I'm going to give you divine wisdom, the light of which the world has never seen. And Solomon continued to put himself under the tutelage and the learning of Nathan. He accumulated knowledge. You see, wisdom can only be built on the foundation of knowledge. The Holy Spirit can only bring to your remembrance what you have gained in knowledge from your own Bible study. So what I'm trying to tell you tonight is this. God expects us to excel in our learning in all our schools because knowledge is power. When you have knowledge, you have power. Knowledge gives you authority. So when you become an expert in your field of study, they say you are an authority in engineering. You are an authority in the field of physics or quantum physics. You are an authority in the realm of management and business. Knowledge gives you authority. To do the best you can in school, you got to excel and study hard. And that's why I want to challenge all of you young people. Study hard like Solomon. God has promised you divine wisdom. But do the best you can in your sciences, in your business, in your humanities, in your, in your arts. Study as high as you can. Excel as far as you can. And when you become an authority, and God pours His supernatural divine wisdom into you, you will not just be an inspiration to society, you make, you'll be, become an agent of transformation for the glory of God, and our city will change for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, you want to clap tonight. Give the Lord a big clap. Be the best that you can in the sciences, in the humanities, in the arts, in the creative arts. You know, people on fire for God, they want to be a, a sword and light and bring transformation. And you will reign as kings in the marketplace.